Good morning and welcome to a home vlog. Uh, it's about 6 a.m. What I've been trying to do is wake up before Jackson so I can get in and do a little bit of exercising. We have this uh, elliptical that we've had for so long that we never used and I've been using it. I have been getting up early and trying to use it before Jackson wakes up for at least three miles is what I try to go on it. Uh, that's about 30 minutes or so. And yeah, that's what I've been trying to do. So that's what I'm gonna do this morning. Jackson's still asleep, Jen's still asleep. I'm trying to get on the treadmill or the, the elliptical. I'm gonna try to, to, to get my, my like, uh, like to, to, to be able to like run back and forth with Jackson without getting so tired. So I'm trying to make it so that I don't get winded as easily. So that's what I'm up to today. Here's what I like to start my day with is some Raisin Nut Bran. So, my favorite cereal. This and some decaf coffee. That's a fun fact that I don't know if many of you all know is that I haven't drank caffeine since, I think, August 25th, 2019. So it's been long, a little over a year now. So it's almost been two years. It'll be two years in August that I haven't drank, not, not any caffeine, because there's a little bit of caffeine in the decaf coffee and I've had like sips of espresso and stuff. If Jen got the peanut butter cold brew at Gideon's, I've had a sip of that. Um, so yeah, I don't know. It, it helped me out. It was very, very hard because I've been drinking coffee since I was 16. Uh, it was very hard for me to do because the very first week or so felt horrible. I had headaches, all that stuff. But now I feel good. Uh, I used to shake a lot from the caffeine and I feel like I shake less now. I, I was always told when I was younger that I shake because I have a potassium issue. And I don't know if that's true or not. My doctor was like, you just need to eat more bananas. And I was like, mm, okay. But I shake less now. I think it was the caffeine. Um, yeah, so that's why I quit drinking caffeine. Well, best laid plans, I guess. They, uh, this one, everybody woke up, so. <laughs> I got through my breakfast and my coffee, and then I was just about to go up and start on the elliptical, and then I heard this guy saying, <laughs> and that's when I knew it's time to start the day. So I think I'll get on the elliptical later after he goes to sleep tonight. That's okay. We'll get on at some point today. How's it going, Jackson? You having some eggies? Some eggies this morning? Let's do it. Oh, almost. Try again. Oh. Okay. You gonna use your fork on that one? You got it. Yeah, oh, did, oh. All right, you're doing great, buddy. You gonna just poke it out of your bib? I don't know if that's a good idea. Here, let's just try a new piece. Mmm. Okay. Yeah, yummy. What do we watch in the mornings, buddy? You ate half of your eggs, which there were two eggs, so he ate one whole egg, and now he's eating blueberries. Or as they say on Bluey, blueberries. You showing him how good you are at eating a banana? Yeah. Look at that big smile on the buddy. Yummy. All right, buddy, what's on the, what's on the playtime agenda for today? Okay. Climbing? I'm drooling? Still waiting for that last molar to pop through, so he's got a lot of drool going still. That's why he's wearing his little bibby. So Jackson knows how to undo this type of strap right here, and this type right here. He's still trying to figure out these over here. I told him how to do it. Like this, buddy. Boop. You wanna do it? Here, show him how you do the, the yellow one. You doing it? Are you gonna do the orange one and the yellow one at the exact same time? There you go, you did the yellow one, now do the orange one. Can you do it? Without even looking. Mm. Look at that. Nice work, bud. Okay. What do you think? Can you do this green one right here? Can you try? Almost, you gotta be big strong buddy. Push it real hard. Did you see him like really trying to push it? You want my help? All right, I'll put back together the ones that you know how to do, okay? 
You gonna do it? Ooh. Ooh. Almost. He sort of has the concept of it down. <laughs> Got it. Is your horse going down your slide? <coughs> can you go down your slide? <coughs> you can walk down your slide. Looking good, buddy. Wanna come down on your little stairs? <coughs> You're just gonna sit there on the couch? Smiling? <coughs> yeah? Wee! What are you doing? Dad. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Show them how you get down off the couch. Uh. Yeah, nice work. What are you doing? Come down this little stair right here. You can do it. There you go. Do the last one. Yeah. Big buddy going downstairs. Do 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 do. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm editing the video. Oh. So we have some plans. We have some friends that just moved here, and we are gonna go meet up with them um, for lunch, early dinner, I guess. Late lunch, early dinner. Yeah. Um, but we also have our meal subscription, like meals, and I don't want them to go bad, so we're gonna make one of those for lunch, and then go meet up with them for early dinner. But before all of that. I have to edit this video from Universal. Yeah, you're doing really good. You're way further. Like, you're really far into it. I, it's, this is going to be like a hard one. Why? Because it was so much footage. Oh, yeah. We did a lot on this this day when we went to Universal. So, I'm going to take a break from this, make some uh, beef stir fry egg rolls, and then, yeah. Yay. <laughs> you guys want to watch me make lunch? Yeah. You can help me. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, so for lunch, we are having beef egg roll stir fry with jasmine rice and lettuce cups. This was like the lightest, the one with the least calories of the meals that we had left. So I've got my scallions. Oh no, that's sorry, that's my cilantro. I have my tamari and it's like a vinegar tamari mixture. Tamari is like a, um, a soy sauce. My scallions, I have the rest of my lettuce. I'm gonna add this to my beef right now. I already cooked up my rice. All right, I added my cabbage to my beef. It's a lot of cabbage. And then I'm gonna add my tamari sauce with my ginger. Um, I might need two hands for this. Okay, hold on. <laughs> this is hard to do with one hand. Okay, so I wanted to show you, Tim and the buddy are downstairs now. So I wanted to show you how I was putting these together. A little bit of rice. A little bit of my filling. These are gonna be kind of messy, and I think we're gonna to need to eat them like with a fork. Like pick it up and then get the rest with the fork, you know what I mean? Yeah, What what is this stuff in the center? Or um, in the filling, like? Oh, so it's ground beef and um, like a cabbage mixture and scallions and like a tamari, like a soy sauce with vinegar. Hmm. And then we're gonna add some more scallions. Oh yeah. And some toasted sesame seeds, and some cilantro. Wow. Yeah, so I think it's gonna be pretty delicious. It looks, sounds like it's gonna be good. Yeah, it's kind of like a, it's like an egg roll without the, the carb part, like without the wrapper, and just like in a lettuce wrap, like a, like a lettuce cup egg roll. Well, I, mean, I think that's what it was called. Oh, okay. So, so that's what it is. We're making Buddy a little sandwich, the tiniest turkey sandwich. Oh, yeah. and then, so I was talking about this this sandwich maker that we got, right, from Amazon. Right. A lot of people were like, where did you get it? Can you link it? So I'll link it in the description down below. Well, we'll link, yeah, we'll link this one, but it doesn't really work very good. Well, let's show you. Okay, so the instructions say to put it together like this. Right. right? And then you push the white part. Ooh, this bread's smaller. Uh-oh. So you're supposed to push the white part down first. Okay. But I like to push the blue part down first because that makes, that's what seals the outsides of the sandwich. Okay. And then the white part cuts the crust off. So you do that and then you push down really hard on it. Whoa. Until you can take the crusties off. Okay. Right? 
And clean this counter off, by the way. So it is a clean counter. This might not have worked because you see I didn't cut any down here. Oh no. So we'll see. Yeah, see it still has this on this, but you can kind of see like how it made. Oh, the seam kind of? Yeah, the seam Okay. on some of the edges. So I think you'll just have edge. to. I'll have to eat it like this. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna add my toasted sesame seeds and then this is ready. We have some like kind of a lot left over. So um, we'll have to, I'll have to get some more little lettuce cups together. But this is gonna be a pretty filling lunch, I think. So better get ready for two lunches. Cause we're gonna go have like an early dinner with our friends. <laughs> I talked about how I was gonna work out today too. Oh dang, well, I think the working out part will just be like lifting the food to your mouth. Your sandwich, but it all fell it apart. It fell apart. It didn't stay together because it wasn't big. So that's the thing is I said, we'll link the one that we use down below, but mm -hmm. I think we might end up getting a different one because this one makes it square. Mm -hmm. They sell ones that make them circle and like heart shaped and stuff like that. What's wrong with this? Literally, it fell apart. It's not a sandwich pocket anymore. I think this is just, we had a little piece of bread. Well, yeah. It I'm works every other time. There you Look go. at him, he's fine. Look at this big buddy. Watch everything sandwich. fall out of the inside of it. You're doing so good, buddy. Nice work. See, that's the thing is if we had the smaller size, we wouldn't have to pinch it back together. But then it would be a smaller sandwich. We'd be wasting bread. He eats the crust. He does. So that's actually something that's really funny is that he likes the bread crust, just not on the sandwich. He likes it on its own, like in a little bread stick. Yeah. And it's kind of like cute. Um, but we're going to eat our little lunchy. It looks and smells really delicious. I yeah. think it might need a little extra soy sauce, so I'm gonna go get some of that. But I also wanted to mention that, um, so we love Bluey, we've talked about it before. Um, a lot of you guys are from Australia and you were very excited that we like Bluey. I yeah. think it's literally like the best show. I paused it. I think it's literally like the best show on television. Like yeah. not even, like for kids Better and than adults. WandaVision. Well, okay. <laughs> it's one of the best shows on television. Um, but I realized that Disney Plus only has season one and they are in season two. They play like on live TV. Yeah, so I've Disney been recording. Junior. Yeah, so I've been recording them. So now you have new episodes to watch, buddy. I'll tell you what. If we ever see Bluey in the parks, oh, he'd go nuts. I think he would lose his mind. I think he really would. That's like his this generation's Barney. I think. Maybe yeah. All right, Jackson has gone down for his one and only nap today, so he sleeps at one, and hopefully he'll sleep until three or four. We'll see. Uh, Usually he's been doing two hours, but I think we're trying to get up to three hours or they're around three hours. Now we play the game. Let's try to get all this stuff done while he's asleep. Yeah. So I got to go outside and I got to trim up our trees outside. Palm trees are beautiful, but they need to be trimmed all the darn time. Like these trees grow so fast. So I'm going to go out there and trim those things up. It's just like we got to do everything around the house when he's asleep. So let's go trim some trees first. So before I head out to trim up the trees, I wanted to point something out about our house. We have this type of lever on our door handles. So there's a type of childproof lock that goes back here that can't fit there because it's too thick for this right here because this can't move up and down. So I had to get a different kind that goes in the top of the door. So now you can't open the door, but all you do is slide this to the side and then you can open it. It just kind of like hangs out on top of the door right here. And then you do have to screw this in though. So this is screwed into the wood frame. I don't know, but it works pretty good. Then these little clear things hang down so you can just do it and lock it. So I think I got to get a bunch of those for upstairs so that we can, you know, child proof the doors because he likes to go into the doors. Did you only get one? Yeah, I got one because I wanted to try it out. Oh. And it was $10 too, so it was a little bit expensive. I'm still editing. So. You need to do the pantry, the laundry room, and the bathroom. And then I wanted to do all of the upstairs doors. Oh, yeah. That so that so he we could. Can... Like open up his yeah room free upstairs we're gonna take away the the play gate um which so here's the thing about baby stuff right like you buy something like that play gate was pretty expensive mm -hmm. and i feel like we're not going to use it forever but i wish that we could use it forever because it was so expensive i want to get our money's worth i feel like we got our money's worth out of it hmm. plus <laughs> you never know <laughs> right right so, yeah, but yeah, we're gonna keep the upstairs like fully open for him to play everywhere. Maybe so. I can upcycle it into a piece of art. That's what the rest of my sentence was after I said you never know. <laughs> You're just gonna like hang it from the walls? Yeah. Like art? Yeah. Okay. That was like a rem remembrance piece. 
of like, remember when? Remember when we had a, a gate? Yeah. Like, you know, okay. memories. Memories. La 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 la. It's true. Sugar coated memories. Sugar coated. Is what that what say? it says? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like that's what they say. I don't think they say sugar coated. What do they say? Uh, I feel like they say. Memories in the corner of my mind. Oh. I like the sugar sugar coated <laughs> memories. I'm gonna look it up because now I'm interested. Okay. Who is that? Cats. Barbara Streisand. No, oh, that's a different cats. no. <laughs> <laughs> what do cats sing? Uh da 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 they do. There is a song called Memories. Da, 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 da. But it's a different song. The Memories that you're like Barbara Streisand. Is that the sugar-coated one? Is that Cats? Cats. I don't think they have a sugar-coated <laughs> song either. Okay, I'm going to play the two for you. Okay. Well, not on film, just so you can hear what they sound like. Okay. And then I'll come back and let you, let, we'll hear your thoughts on this. Okay. Okay, it got, it got real confusing because <laughs> we also found Barbara Streisand singing Memory from, from Cats. From Cats. Yeah, so I was like, but wait, which one? Okay. The name of the song that you were singing it's called The Way We Were. Oh, it's not called Memories? No. But oh. also, Barbara Streisand has an album called Memories. <laughs> <laughs> um, I gotta say, it was misty watercolored memories. Yeah. I like the candy sugar coated one. It might know. have, I only played you the first like five words of the song, and maybe they do say that later in the song. You never know. <laughs> I don't know. They probably don't. Barbara Streisand. <laughs> All right, I gotta go cut the trees. <laughs> All right, the buddy's awake. And it's been three hours. Wow. He slept for three hours. He did require a little bit of help from daddy to sleep those three hours. And mommy. And mommy. Because when you were outside cutting down those trees, or you weren't cutting down trees, but you were trimming the trees, I had to, I had to go up there with him. Yeah. Because he was like, hey, I'm awake, but I don't really want to be awake. So we're giving him just a little appetizer before we head out to get something to eat. He's having some green beans and some turkey. And he looks like he hasn't touched his turkey at all. He's just going for the green beans. <laughs> I'm gonna have to give you, I think you need to have a little, a little spoon or something for your, for your meat. Let me go get it. Jackson, are you trying to put on daddy's flip flops? <laughs> Pretty good. That one's in. Yep. Yeah. Now you're wearing daddy shoes. Can you put the other one on too? All right. Oh, you're just gonna put it on the wrong foot. I like it. You got the concept down though, right? Yeah. So we are out now and we're meeting our friends for dinner. So we did something. I don't know what's going on with us lately, but we keep forgetting everything. We forgot the camera at home the other day. We didn't tell you guys, but we totally forgot the camera the day that we went to Animal Kingdom. Had to drive back home and get it. Today we forgot his um, diaper bag. Yeah. Um, so, I don't know. So we're meeting them at an area that is just off of the 417 called Boxy Park. It's a really neat area. It's got a whole bunch of like food trucks. Also, it's got this autonomous vehicle that drives around and like can, I don't know what it, where it goes, but it's just like you can take an autonomous vehicle. No driver. This place is nice because they have all kinds of different food trucks. So I got a fried chicken sandwich. I got Jackson some chicken tenders, which he already ate. So I don't know if we'll actually give him those. Uh, he will eat the fries though. Oh, he's calling for the, for the French fries already. Jen got a spicy mushroom and Brussels sprout salad. <laughs> I don't think it's a salad. <laughs> I mean, it kind of looks like a salad, right? <laughs> Sure. And then a Oh, sandwich. I got my lobster roll. I had to break a little piece of the bread off for Jackson, so that doesn't look very beautiful, but it is the, my favorite thing here at Boxy Park. It's so good. Yum, delicious, wonderful. So I actually got this because I wanted to show it to Kitra. We were talking about, um, we were talking about lobster rolls the other day at Boathouse, and I wanted to show her my favorite lobster roll, so take a picture of this and send it to her. We're near the airport and he is watching the airplanes take off and he really loves it. He's like, there are airplanes. I've never seen these before. It's gone, he can't see it anymore. He's like, and now he's like pointing at the airport and he's like, when's the next one coming? For dessert, our friends got from the ice cream place what's called blackout vanilla soft serve. It's like a black vanilla ice cream. It looks so cute. It looks 
like Valentine's Day. It does look like Valentine's Day. But make it goth. Right. Yeah. Are you brushing your own teeth, baby buddy? Almost bedtime, now we're brushing our teeth. Nice job. Really, he's just brushing his tongue. Daddy already brushed his teeth. <laughs> but he's putting in the effort. We're learning how important it is to brush our teeth two times a day, right? Yeah. <laughs> buddy. Okay. All done. Are you sharing your toothbrush? I don't think we share our toothbrushes, buddy. Jackson. Okay, we're done, buddy. You did a really good job. Give yourself, give yourself a little pat on the back, buddy. Yeah, you did it. Nice, nice work. So Jackson's asleep now, and normally on a normal night, we've been giving him milk, just like regular cow's milk, because he's weaned, like almost like ninety percent weaned off of Jen's milk, and Jen said, "Oh, I read something that said." Okay, somebody messaged Jen and said, don't give him milk, give him a banana, because bananas promote sleep, and I think that person was trolling you. No, it was like a TikTok. Because we gave Jackson a banana tonight before he went to sleep, and he had the, the, the energy of a thousand suns <laughs> before going finally falling asleep. Because right. he was like, uh, he was just like fighting me. It took me an hour to get him to go to sleep. Oh, no. He was just like, I don't want to be asleep. He was like, meh, hmm, heh, hmm. Well, he's just like moving around everywhere. And I'm like, just calm down and go to sleep. Just close your eyes. Oh, and he's like, no, thousand suns, bananas. But have any of you all given your children bananas to help them go to sleep? And did they work? Did I just give it too close to bed? Did I need to give it like an hour? And then he goes to sleep? I don't know. He was like, either that or he was just like wound up tonight. Could have been that too. I think that he was just wound up though because we went and like, we were outside. Well, we showed you guys. We were out at, like at Boxy Park and I think that there was so much stimulation and then he saw the planes going by and then we were there when it started to become like nighttime so all the lights turned on. I think he was just very stimulated from like what we were doing. Yeah. So, and then we came home and it was immediately bedtime and he's like, what? Wait. Yeah. So that's what I think it was. All right. But I also think... If it takes him longer to go to sleep, I think that wears him out more and he sleeps better. Okay. We'll see. We'll let you know tomorrow because we're going to do another home vlog tomorrow and we will be able to uh, give you the... The download. Well, like the, the... Like this is our experiment. Okay. Yeah. We'll get the results tomorrow. Also, another experiment that we're doing right now is we have this Sony ZV-1 camera. You mm -hmm. guys know I like messing around with cameras. Uh, and we are recording this entire video on it, except for when we were out at Boxy Park, that's the normal camera that we use. Mm -hmm. But everything at home was recorded on this camera without a microphone on it. Sorry. So just the regular internal microphones, I'm trying to hold back a yawn now because I saw you yawning. Well, camera stuff is so exciting. Oh. It made me yawn. Well, it was like a sentence. <laughs> One sentence about camera stuff. Okay. But I just want to know how it turned out. It's an experiment. Yeah. So I'm going to go get on the dumb a elliptical now. Okay, I have to edit. So I've been trying to get the videos up at a better time, like not super late at night, and I've been trying not to miss as many days. Right. So I'm editing tomorrow's video now, but it's an hour's worth of footage. So I'll be editing. Dang. I feel like I've just been editing all day today. You have been. I know. We took the little break to go see our friends really quick, um, but which was really nice. I needed like a break from the computer, so that was good. So you're gonna edit. Yeah, I'm going to try to get this video ready to go for tomorrow. And I'm going to go up and run on the elliptical. And I'm going to bring you M&M's with Jackson's face on them. What, you're going to make me eat candy while you work out? I'm going to eat candy while I'm working out. <laughs> okay. Is that a thing that people do? I have a Gideon's cookie. Oh, yeah. yeah. Also, we just had ice cream. Well, <laughs> saying. I could also <laughs> eat M&M's. What's the point of working out if you can't eat M&M's while you're doing you it? You just had ice cream. What's the point of eating ice cream if you can't work out while eating M&M's? Okay. I kind of want more ice cream. Oh my gosh. <laughs>
<laughs> uh, fun fact, I tried to do a time lapse of me on the elliptical and the frame rate of me moving matched up with the time lapse frame rate. So frame rate, so it just looks like I'm like like I'm not actually doing anything. I'm just like doing weird robot movements. No, you could tell that you were working out. It just looked weird. It did look weird. Yeah. But today was great. Today was good. I feel like we got a lot done. Yeah. I edited a really long video. I'm still working on the other video. I cannot believe that I lost my wedding ring at Disney World. Right. Like what the heck? Still thinking about that. Well, spoiler alert. No, there, this video is going to come out after. Oh. Yeah. You found it. Yeah. <laughs> right? So you guys, if you saw the video, you know. Yeah. Well, um, they, you didn't find it. Disney found it. Oh, yeah. I didn't find it. But like, what Like what the heck? So don't put your wedding ring in your pocket. Jen. Right. Jen, don't do that. And we got to see Jackson do some cute stuff today. We did. Yeah. So good day all around. So with that being said, we are off. We'll see you all tomorrow. And, and now, now it's time, time to, to pay, pay the, the price. price.